I have experienced, I feel like, over the last 10 years that I've been writing music, all different um, dynamics of that. I've written a song in an hour before, and then some of, I would say some of the songs on the, this EP, Anti-Gravity, some of them have taken upwards of six or eight months because you just, you get just infatuated with this idea of it, of it, being, of it being and saying the perfect thing and, and melodically just being new and fresh. And so all those things coming together sometimes don't happen as fast as you would like. So some of the songs on this EP, the title track, Anti-Gravity, was over the course of the last six months, maybe even more. Oh my goodness, it might even be more than that. Um, because I was so like in love with the concept and really wanted to do it justice. And then a song like Solace, my wife Liz and I wrote that one I'm just four to six weeks ago. We had taken a trip to the beach that day, came back in here, and we're having these thoughts about, you know, um, your childhood and feeling like you're you're overlooked and underestimated and, and all those emotions that everyone has felt over the course of their life, you know, as they walk towards their dream. And we were able to bottle those up and within the course of two or three hours, write a song that not only am I proud of, but I feel like, you know, gives people a kind of a, a way to um, feel like they're not alone in, their, in the struggle of life, you know, and that other people go through that struggle of, of feeling like they, almost don't even matter or aren't seen. And so that's what, kind of what Solace was about. It's about saying goodbye to, to that former life of even really caring what those people that choose not to see you think and saying, this is who I am and who I'm going to be. And, and you know, I'm okay. I'm made of, of the mistakes that I've made and the shortcomings that I've had. And I love that. The, the inspiration of the, the idea, um, it comes from like a, a kind of a, a, a lifelong obsession with all kinds of, I guess you would call them conspiracy theories. Really what it is is kind of like a search for the truth. And so, you know, there's people out there that say, you know what, that, that we have technology that exists that maybe we don't let the public have because we don't feel like we could trust them with it or that our economy might crumble if we had new types of fuels, or whether it be technology or a new way of thinking. Um, a new way of kind of giving people freedom is maybe held back because other people don't trust that that we as a society are safe or capable of handling that truth. And so really, really anti-gravity has a, a very um, a kind of like tangible meaning and it's that I think maybe we have technologies that we have come across and that we kind of keep under the rug because we're afraid that if people know this is possible, that humanity won't be able to handle it. 